Hey Suns fans, this is broadcaster Roger Hoover and welcome to Suns Today. A solo home run by Brady Shoemaker. Strong throw coming in, it's in time. Inside corner, a call, third strike. He dives and makes the catch. Oh my goodness, Ryan Fisher, a solo shot to the bleachers. Nicolino swing and a miss, strike three. A career high, 13 strikeouts. 2-0, Hayes delivers, and Rizek swings. High drive, deep to left to the palm tree. Welcome back to Bragan Field as we get ready for game four of this series and this homestand as the Suns are taking on the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. Last night, game three, the series went to Pensacola 17 to one. Here's a look back at some of the highlights from last night's game. The 2-2 swung on and hit into left center field. Donald Lutz giving chase. He's going to be able to bring it in. But a run's going to come around to score as Wilfredo Jimenez comes across. And Jacksonville has their first run of the game. It's 5-1 Pensacola. First pitch to Donald Lutz is hammered well out of the ballpark. Goodbye. A solo homer that uh, will finally land in the parking lot that separates the baseball grounds in Everbank Field. A towering shot by Lutz, his fourth home run of the season. A one pitch. He swings and unloads. A high fly ball that's deep in the air to center field. Backing up on a Galloway. He can't get it. It falls for a base hit. Bounces against the warning track to straightaway center field. One run is in as Rodriguez will score on an RBI triple by Donald Lutz. So the Suns falling by a final score of 17 to 1. Pensacola set franchise records for both runs in the game, 17. Also hits in the game with 22 as Donald Lutz would hit for the first cycle in Pensacola Blue Wahoos history and also the first cycle at Bragan Field. Now the Suns and Wahoos getting set for game four of the series and the Suns will be sending left-hander Justin Nicolino to the mound. He picked up a win in his last start against Chattanooga and Andy Barquette, his manager, is really excited to see him pitch on this Tuesday night. I hope he, uh, he attacks the strike zone and repeats his performance as he did in Chattanooga. He threw the ball really well. And uh, it was a tough night for us, and we need a, a big start out of him to get some momentum back going tomorrow. So uh, hopefully he comes out and he was sharp like he was his last time out. Justin Nicolino on the mound for Jacksonville tonight. He'll be opposed by Pensacola right-hander John Moscott. Moscott listed as the Reds' number 23 prospect by Baseball America. And, of course, Nicolino is the Marlins' number four prospect, one of the better left-handed pitching prospects in all of baseball. A great pitching matchup. We also will still see Rafael Fercal in the lineup. He'll be batting leadoff and playing at second base for the Suns. Last night, Fercal went 0 for 4 in his first game with Jacksonville as part of a major league rehab assignment from the Miami Marlins, but he'll hopefully be back with with the Marlins coming up next week. So it's the Suns and Blue Wahoos getting set for game four of the series. If you're at the ballpark, sit back, relax, and make sure you visit the concession stand for 50 Cent Family Feast Night, 50 Cent Hot Dogs, Peanuts, and Ice Cream Treats. It's also High Chew Kids Night. A lot of fun to see the kids play catch on the field before tonight's ball game. Again, the Suns and Blue Wahoos game four is coming up in just a moment. Thanks for watching Suns Today.